Man, one of the biggest things that happens every time we come to this conference is if we start making that the close-knit family members, kind of like your distant cousins that you see at the family reunion. Team Lift did that again, man. We've been seeing a lot of the guys that you've had on the show, but we meet new people. And one of the new groups we met this year, we met a group named The Next Crew. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I have a lot of fun at these cons, but these are my distant cousins right now. We're going to put them on the show, give them some love. So this is Next Crew. Now, you guys are a podcast team, right? Yes. And you're also doing some hosting of like nights at pinball, so you're doing like game nights. All right, so before we get started, we're gonna go ahead and get introductions. What's your name? Jazzy Nay. Oh, Jazzy Nay. Don't mess that up, y'all. All right. <laughs> Desmond Childs. Desmond Childs? Like the producer. Yeah. Yeah, wow, nobody ever gets that. Fox Erocious. Fox Erocious? What, look, I feel bad with my name only Coach. See what I'm coming up here with? <laughs> They next level on me already, man. <laughs> so, okay, go ahead and tell us a little bit about y'all crew. How'd y'all come together? Man, so check it. We've actually, uh, this guy got me started in podcasting in 2008. Okay. And, well, he started in podcasting in 2008, and I got into it in 2013. Um, we started out as After Dark Radio. Okay. And then we kind of progressed a little bit. It was like, look, okay, we could talk about the you know, steamy side of anime things, but let's 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 upgrade a little bit. So, we went on and moved up to Nexus Gen Radio, which we rocked for like a couple of years, and then I was like, you know what, this isn't enough. So, I brought together the Next Crew, and that was actually the nickname that we called the people who listen to our fans and our supporters, the people who listen to Nexus Gen Radio. So okay. finally, I was like, they were calling, hey, yo, Next Crew, what's good? And I was like, wait a minute. I need to run with that. <laughs> I need to just run with it. So we've been sticking with it. Um, like I said, we've been doing a partnership thing, and then we grabbed Fox out of Memphis, y'all. Okay, now Fox, you said you're from Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee. And so you're now Next Crew Memphis, right? That's what you're going with. I, I keep saying it's in. I keep saying it's in its infancy, but okay. it's it's going. I exp, I plan to yeah. grow it out. Grow it out. Okay, well, that's cool. Now, I kind of want to talk to y'all because now, as podcasters, you know, I feel like we all learn from each other. So you guys not only are doing the podcast, but you're hosting the game night. Tell us a little about this. So the Geeks and Gamers Mixer, our first event was actually this past Thursday at Pinball's Arcade um, here in Austin. And it was amazing. First of all, it was our very first event, and we had a huge turnout. Like, Good groups are first home. There's like 70 plus people, and I'm just like, yo. But the whole point of it is that we want to bring, uh, it was centered around those who were coming to Anime CTX and also trying to find a way to get those who were not coming to the con together. It's like, look, if you, if you watch anime, if you love video games, you could play card games. It doesn't matter if you're into Pokemon trading, if you're into Digimon. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what it is. Cosplaying, anything. If you geek and you like the game every now and then, come see us. Okay, then we can get with you. That's what we do is geek culture, and that's cool that you're covering the whole broad spectrum of it. Exactly. All right, now, Desmond, man, I noticed you've been kind of quiet, but I always mm -hmm. see you looking at computers and stuff. Here. <laughs> so, man, what, come on, tell me, what's the role? What are you doing behind the scenes all the time? I, you know, I edit the podcast. You know, we get done. I, I'm, I'm also on the show with them. Okay. Um, like she said, I've been doing it for a while too. I kind of just, you know, we're married, so I let the wife do it. You know, I'm hey, let's let's do it big, let's do it big. But I'm mostly behind the scenes, kind of working with the website with these guys, or yeah. making sure there's some kind of polish on it so that they see it. They're like, oh, they're stunning, you know, uh, not right. the average podcast, you know, yeah. that sort of thing. See, that that's what we trying to play, but I'm telling you, man, them quiet, them quiet people behind the scenes are always the ones that, because our whole podcast, like, we, our thing has grown into a family. So my partner is Brandon. Now, Brandon does the podcast with me, but Brandon is the tech brains behind everything we do. And Desmond, you kept pushing this camera off on other people. I was like, we're going we gonna to square you up on this video. We're going to get you. <laughs> I was like, no, man, I think he's doing way too much to looking at them screens, man. <laughs> That's cool. Honestly, if it wasn't for this guy, I wouldn't know anything about Audacity production, you know, audio production. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know anything about what I'm doing now. I, would, I didn't think I was going to be a mom married and podcasting about the stuff that I grew up with loving you know exactly. so it's just like yeah he be trying to hide 
No, no more hiding, Desmond. I'm not, I'm not very good at and hiding, always, I guess. And then he's always trying to push me up front. I'm like, no, I know I'm the leader, but gosh, dang it. Hey, no, just, you ain't going to get out of that. Look, I'm, I, I'm, I'm telling you. The, the, when y'all start your video thing, let us know because we're going to bring you back on the show because that's that's how it is for us. I got pushed into the front by Desmond, too. <laughs> Desmond pushed me. <laughs> that's why I know when I'm looking at a Desmond, I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> well, man, I sure appreciate you guys coming out. What I want you to do, we got your information. You got ours. Next time you have a mixer, let us know, and maybe we can do some cross-promotion and come out and cover you guys. How's that sound? Hey, that's what I'm talking about, then. Okay, cool. Hey, that is what I'm talking about. Now, and I know you're saying that you're doing the thing with Memphis. Keep us posted. We definitely want to come out there. I, I mean, I'm looking for a reason to travel to Tennessee. Uh, wait, what's going on? <laughs> I don't know if they got the dates okay. concrete, but I know it's, it's usually July. Okay. And, uh, it'll be out next year. And now, see. Anime Blues 8? Yeah. yeah. So Anime Blues 8 in Memphis, Tennessee. Now, I, look, y'all know, only thing I love more than anime is food, uh, as you can see. <laughs> so that means Bill Street and barbecue uh, and some blues and some anime. Man, that's going to be the itis for me, okay? I'm just going to be just leaning to the side in a wheelchair. That's going to be my diabetic episodes. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah, I am. Uh, it's gonna no. I'm gonna be Uncle Ruckus. It ain't gonna be no good. I ain't gonna be no good there. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you how that's going down, man. Guys, we are having a blast out here. Y'all need to come join us. If you are not here, I promise you, you're missing probably one of the hottest events of the year. Anime CTX has had so much talent. A lot of great people out here. You can meet them. People like Next Crew are representing. This a way for you to get up there and close with them and meet them and find out about what they're doing to push this whole culture and to push our whole geek community together. Hope to see you guys out here soon. Bye.